Welcome back to Roundtable Radio. My name is Gideon, and I am sitting here, well, we're standing, um, with the lead singer of the Wilderness of Manitoba. Now, you guys are not from Manitoba, are you? No, not not originally. I mean, my, my father's family grew up there uh, oh, really? for a time. Uh, but I've always had links to, uh, sort of geographically, to anything that is Canadian. I sort of grew up on the West Coast, and I was born in Toronto, and I live here now. Um, so there is purpose. But I moved all over. Yeah, I always, I've always felt that Manito- Manitoba is sort of a central uh, location in Canada, at least when you look at the map, for in terms of how the landscape is sort of plotted out. Um, and the name came from an art project of Gnome Gonix from, from about 2008 when we found out about it, called The Wildflowers of Manitoba. And we misheard the name, and it was... It, it turned out to just stick, and then uh, that's kind of how things were planted. has a wonderful sort of Americana, rootsy, southern cadence to it. Uh, where exactly uh, did your influences come from? Probably from all of those places. The American Midwest, a little bit of Canadiana in terms of uh, Joni Mitchell and Neil Young and the Prairies. And then, um, and then definitely going down south, we love a lot of those. Uh, oh, the old players, just uh, anything we can get our hands on. Uh, T-Bone Burnett and... Uh, Sean loves everything jazz. He's going down to New Orleans to study with uh, with the drummer there in May. Um, yeah, we love getting down south whenever we can, and there's a certain uh, there's definitely an energy there, and I think that plays into where we've gone now. Uh, certainly, I think in the earlier music we were doing, it was more about winter folk and the winter landscapes because um, we spent all of our time in Canada. So. <laughs> Would you say then that uh, touring has influenced the music that you guys are making? Entirely. I think um, uh, in two different ways. Cerebrally, in terms of the songwriting process, it influences that. But then also uh, playing every night and getting out there on stage and just becoming what we call rotate together. And then, uh, of course, that... A unit. Yeah, a unit. And then you, you sort of you, you, you play in that way. And mm. the, 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 really, the real difficulty is actually capturing that for like the next whatever album bands are going to do. process like for you guys as a band? It depends entirely on song, I think, and entirely on, uh, well, who's written it and how they want it to be recorded. And um, You guys yeah. do live off the floor or do whatever live you off the do? F- I think, well, we just did an EP for the States that we were releasing that was entirely live off the floor with no overdubs. Wow. Um, that was just a really fast like thing we wanted to do to capture the live band and, and put that sure. out there and promote down in the States. Get and you can bang it out. And Yeah, yeah. south of the border, and we did it in one day, but our next album would probably be the very same thing, but... Uh, Add the overdubs and the bells and whistles and all of those things and, and make it more of a finalized product. But live off the floor is, is always the way to go, I think, from, from the starting edge. And then after that, you see it. of 
products. Uh, tell the people listening at home, watching at home, uh, where they can find you guys, find your music. Uh, I guess our website is thewildernessofmanitoba.com and uh, our last album, Island of Echoes, came out in Canada on September 18th and uh, folks south of the border and across the ocean. Uh, we're on iTunes. That album is not yet because we're, we're looking for a proper way to sort of distribute it. Uh, but the old stuff is all over iTunes. Wonderful. Uh, that would be a place. Yeah. Thanks so much for uh, right. chatting with me for Thanks just for a couple me. minutes. Absolutely. <laughs> you sure. are watching Roundtable Radio. My name is Gideon, and you have been watching. Thank you.